Hi everyone, I'm Swati Tripathi. In this video, we are going to see how to configure DNS on Cisco Packet Tracer. Now, first of all, we are going to create a network topology. Before that, let me place a note for myself. Okay. So on this left bottom corner, you can see a lot of devices. Go to this D, uh, end device here, select a PC, drag it, drop on the screen. Then go to this uh, network device and from the here, select switch. Then select PT switch over here and place it on the screen. Now go again, go to this end device. Then here you will see a server. Drag and drop it on the screen. Now we have to connect it through wire here in this connections button select it i'm going to select copper straight through wire now select this pc you will see fast ethernet zero then select the switch you will see the option for fast ethernet zero slash one now again select the copper straight through wire select this pc switch again then fast ethernet one slash one then select this server and then select the option fast ethernet zero now, once you're connected with the wire here, now the main things start. First of all, I assign an IP address to this server. Double click this server and a default box will appear like this. Now here, go to this desktop and then in desktop, select this IP configuration button. Here, we are going to assign an IP address to the server, which is 192.168.1.1. .1. Now this IP address is my choice. You can assign it as 1.2 or any allowed IP addresses. Now here in the DNS server field, I'm going to assign 192.168.1.1 because this server is going to act as the DNS server. Make sure this IP address and this I DNS server address is the same. It's very important. And the subnet mask field will come on its own. You don't need to do anything. Once you have given the IP address, it will automatically detect the respective subnet mask that should be here. Now, now close this thing. Now we have to go to the services. Here, first of all, I'm going to make a website. Here in this HTTP services, here you can see index.html. Go this, go to this edit button. Now here, a code by default is written for HTML page. You don't need this, so just uh, I'm going to delete this everything in between HTML tags. Delete this. Here I am going to write hello Cisco. Close it by H1 tag. Now your I have prepared a simple website, right? Now don't forget to save this. Once you click the save button, it will say there is already a file with same name. Overwrite? Yes, overwrite it. Click the yes button. Now it's saved. Now, second thing we are going to do with this server is that we are going to enable DNS. Now here, first of all, turn on the DNS service. And here, I'm going to give a name to the website. The website name will be my website. My website and the address is the ad IP address of the server only, which is 192.168.1.1. Now add it. Now here, the name is my website, it's type A record and the IP address is 192.168.1.1. It's the same IP address of this server. Now here the server, the part of server is done. Close this default box. Now go to this PC. Here, go to this desktop, then select this IP configuration, assign an IP address to the PC. Now I will assign IP address as 192.168 dot one dot two then when you click the subnet mask field a respective subnet mask will appear now here in the dns server assign the ip address of the dns server which is 192.168.1.1 now go to this uh, close this ip configuration now in the dns desktop only you will see web browser just scroll it a little bit on the right side and you will see a web browser Select this web browser. Now here, if I write my website and press go button, you will see hello Cisco, which is the website we created. Now, even if I write 192.168.1.1, .1, 1 
and press go it's going to be the same for example let me stop this uh, and again go to this web browser and I type 192.168.1.1 so it's going to show me the same website now the DNS has held us to recognize that this IP address the name of this IP address is my website so this is happening because of the DNS so if I go again here to this HTTP and, and edit this and write uh, paragraph which is hi website is made and save this overwrite it yes now cross this again go to the PC go to select the PC and then go select this web browser and here write my website now it will know that we are talking about if I write my website, it knows because of the DNS that we are talking about the IP address, which is 192.168.1.1. And when I press go, here the changes that we did is visible. Now, what if you want uh, this PC to be recognized as PC0? Or let's say, for example, um, I want this PC to be known as Swati. Right, the IP address of this PC is 192.168.1.1 sorry the IP address of this PC is 2 192.168.1.2 right now we have another PC let's say go to this end device select a PC another PC and then connect it through wire and connect it to the switch now if I go to this PC 1 and go to this desktop first of all assign an IP address to this PC 1 which is 192.168.1.3 this is the IP address for this new PC PC 1 now here just assign IP address as 192.168.1.1 now I have assigned the DNS server also now for now let's say I'm going to the command prompt Close this IP configuration, go to this command from. If I say ping 192.168.1.2, the replies are coming. But if I say ping Swati, which is I which is the name that I want to keep for this PC, this PC0 that was initially Swati, it will not be able to recognize because it does not know what exactly is Swati. So if I want to do this, just cross this dialog box for PC1. Again, go to the server. In the DNS service, in the services tab, in the DNS service, I'm going to put a new name, just Swati. And I IP address will be 192.168.1.2. Right. Click add button. Make sure this DNS service is on, which is very important. Now for Swati name, the IP address is 192.168.1.2 right close this button here now again go to the PC one and then go to command prompt and now if you ping ping Swati now the replies are coming because now because of the DNS server it knows that Swati means this IP address so this is exactly the work of DNS right so that is it guys uh, thanks for watching the video like it if you this video was helpful for you if you have any doubts any queries just let me know through the comment section i have more videos on this cisco packet tracer which is available on my youtube channel so subscribe to my youtube channel to stay tuned for more upcoming videos like this if you have a video that you want me to make then let me know in the comment section thank you thank you so much for watching